morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you for coming here at Sunday morning and even the whole day, telling me. So, I start, this is the first time I start uh, to decide what kind of background I use in this aquarium. You see, this is an OptiWide glass, I think. Yeah? Made in UK? Yeah. yeah. Very good quality. When I decide to make a layout, uh, for sure, I have to uh, know is, it, is the aquarium a room divider or is it being on the wall or the, is it on the left wall or something else. In this case, it's then uh, behind the wall, so I decide to. Uh, to use a special foil, I use uh, very often in my aquarium, it's a milky foil. Uh, and this gives uh, the background a very soft touch. This is a special foil, this is uh, only anti-static, and if you don't like it, you can remove it. Not inside, outside the aquarium. I can show you how it works. It's very easy. So, uh, I show it in front because it's easier to show. Uh, pump it. You make a little bit the uh, paint wet and also the, the foil from inside and you can put it here so I make it and then you can remove the water I hope I have everything I show only this from in front that you can see how it works so it's easier than when I make it from behind later this is only example and you can remove the the water out of the foil, and so you have a milky foil behind. And if you don't like it, the good thing uh, on this foil is it's anti-static. It is no no glue, and you can remove it and can make it next time something else. So uh, I use this foil very often, especially uh, to give the aquarium a special deep, and uh, you can put the LED under there and you can lighten lightening the wall with blue or with red or like you ever want so you can uh, have a three-dimensional effect the fortune when you use something like this you have much more deep in the aquarium when you besides a black wall huh? so, so now i'm finished with the background and can go on with the normal way out i have to choose some uh, stones before they are laying here down. So I prepare uh, the estimated layout down there. So I decide to make a, a check in the internet. What's uh, islands here bit, uh, in the area? And I s go in the internet and do the Isle of Man, Google. And so I decide I uh, give the name uh, Autumn at Isle of Man. To make these beaches, uh, there's a uh, a special trick, I think. Some of you know it, maybe. We have to make, uh, we have to divide the sand to, uh, this is the, the border of sand and soil. And this is where I have to put later the stones inside. That's the most important. Normally I don't, <coughs> it's not necessary to to wash them. It's a little bit dirty, but not so that as you can't see anything. And never use the aqua soil. Uh -huh. uh, wash. Never wash the aqua soil. Uh -huh. so, so now I start here. The first. In this case, I mixed as next layer or from behind, I mixed the uh, uh, fertilized substrate from Tropica with the aqua soil. The reason I mix it is that it comes a little bit higher after I put in the, the, the stones. Normally my gravel behind will be about 15 centimeters. So I have to put a little bit more substrate in the high so that is not in the bottom. So that because the plants I put in, I need maybe two months till the roots come really down, so the reason is that uh, if they grow so deep that they're getting a little bit more uh, uh, nutrient substrate. So now I put it, I think I will do this as first layer and put also in the aqua soil is 
full of green, so is it uh, a good mix? One, so then remove the soil or to put them in front so you have uh, yeah, the sand and the soil from the whole system so you don't need too much. I put them now over there, not all. So. Yeah, I try to hide the fertilized button because it's, it's for the eye it's not uh, very interesting to see for example if you start when you can imagine this is fertilized button and then you make the soil over there you even see the fertilized button over there so you have to put them here away <coughs> so it looks much more better huh? so. so number two and so we have a sandwich Aqua soil, aqua care, aqua soil. Fine, uh, but uh, I need more, so, uh, more sand now to to separate the different grounds. So we have three bags aqua soil, two bags nice sand, and one bag aqua care. So we have about at the moment forty-five kilo substrate material. And here are laying maybe about. 60 kilo of stones, so maybe you only have 250 liter in the tank mm. later. <coughs> 